Hello and welcome to the 15th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX Flappy Bird C++ series. And in this part we're going to be looking at displaying the game over score. But we'll be continuing on from the previous tutorial. If you don't have the source code, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to it. So, we have the score displayed, but not on the game over scene, unfortunately. But, fortunately, we will actually be implementing it in this tutorial. First, we will create a score variable inside the game over scene CPP uh, as a glow variable. So, let's just go to a game over scene right there. And the reason we're going to be creating a global variable and not something in the header is because we're going to pass a variable into the create scene because this class hasn't been fully initialized at that point. We need a global variable so we can store it. So unsigned int score. And now let's modify the create scene method to take an unsigned int. So this is going to take unsigned int temp score. We can copy and paste this as this also needs to go in here. Now, we will now assign the temp score to the variable at the start of the create scene function. So here we're going to do score equals temp score. Now let's create a string of the score that will be used to create a label to be displayed within the scene. Uh, so what we're going to do is down here. We can actually just copy and paste from our game over scene. So this one right here. This is a small because we haven't modified it or updated it, but we'll do that in a moment. So if we just go to our game over scene, that's CPP. And in here, if we just copy and paste that, that should be A OK. So what we're going to do is auto current. Score equals label TTF colon colon create should be a capital F and for the string we're going to have damn it I put this before I created the score string so in here we're going to put ten score get C string then for the font name we're going to put fonts for slash Marker felt dot ttf. And now for the size, we're going to put visible size dot height time by score font size semicolon. And now we can set the position of the label, which will be centered in the y axis, but 25% along in the x axis. As in the next tutorial, we will have a high score label, which will be situated at 75% along in the x axis. So, what we're going to do is current. Score set position. I'm going to do point visible size dot width time by 0 0.25 plus origin dot x visible size dot height divided by 2 plus origin dot y. And now we can add this to our Theme, so add child current score and the only thing we've got left to do is in our game scene of CPP here it needs a score variable so we'll just specify score right there and now we can run this and we can play our game and when we die we'll go to the game over scene as we always do but we'll have our score displayed so let's just let it load click the play button we have zero, let's go up and down, score one, score another point, and then let's just die. And we have the number two displayed there. So that is it for this tutorial. In the next part of the series, we're going to be looking at actually saving the score because at the moment, yeah, look, I'll just show you right now. If we click play and we just let it fall and die. We have zero because at the moment no score is saved. So like I said in the next tutorial we're going to be saving the score. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.